Welcome to our lecture notes about uh, media ethics as a course unit. My name is Nednan Katam and through this YouTube channel we shall learn more about media ethics in series. I'll start with uh, series 1 which includes uh, giving us a clear overview and definition of what ethics are and how they are handled. I'll start with the definition of media. Media is communication or channel through which news, entertainment, education, data and promotion messages are disseminated. Media includes every broadcasting and narrowcasting medium such as newspapers, magazines, TV, radio, billboards, direct mail, telephone, fax, internet, etc. Media is plural for medium and can take a plural or singular verb depending on the sense of the intended meaning that you opt to deliver. Media are the collective communication outlets or tools used to store and deliver information or data. It is either associated with uh, communication media or with specialized mass media communication, business such as print media and the press, photography, advertising, cinema, broadcasting that is radio and TV, publishing and uh, points of sale. Media is an umbrella term for the different kinds of mediums that enrich us with knowledge and vital information. It is the, it is the, circuit, the circuit that runs through society in the form of visual, print and audio medium, namely television, newspaper that is magazine, tablet and newsletters and radio plus internet. The medium plays different roles when it comes to communicating the audience at large as well as altering the perceptions. Advertising agencies take advantage of audience nature and therefore give out repetitive messages of the brand or place that can make their lives better and improve lifestyle, showcase technology that is eye-catching, food products that are healthy, medicines that are effective, cost-saving plans with insurance suggestions, bank loans and mutual funds for investment, attractive holiday packages and apartments among others. We witness every day how the, these different types of mass media change and aid us in our day-to-day -day life dilemmas, making things more accessible and extremely convenient. It is an arm stretch or mouse click away making us rely on this medium as we live our lives better each day. Well, I appreciate you very much for accepting to join us on our YouTube channel for learning where our key consideration is now on media ethics. I'll take you through uh, a clear understanding of the different types of media. Here, our focus will be on defining the different media channels and studying extensively how they have evolved. I'll start away straight with uh, number one, which is the newspaper or print media. The different types of print media content vary according to the targeted audience or market. Content in the newspaper, for example, will slightly differ from that of a magazine, the other of a tabloid, and the other of a newsletter. These mediums serve the purpose of showcasing advertising, news, or entertainment-related information to the audience. Newspapers are a worldwide medium that has been around far back from Julius Caesar's time in the form of uh, government bulletins. With the Industrial Revolution, newspapers were made possible to print and were used as a means of communication in the year 1814, which kick-started journalism. Medium number two, which is radio. Radio marked a turning point in the way information was conveyed or transferred because it used sound to capture the attention of the audience. 
Being the first communication medium that could transfer or transmit live voice over a long distance, radio was and is still one of the most uh, effective medium. People depend on it and still depend on it. I recall that people depended on the media, radio, and still depend on it for such core issues like sources of information including news among others. The importance and optimum use of radio as a mass media was nowhere more evident than in World War I. Radio used to send diplomatic messages when German found out that the Britons had tapped into her cable. It made itself a medium that audience found as their connection to all that happened worldwide. If they ever knew that television and the internet would take the world by storm, in these days and age, they would be blown away by how they were advancing and still uh, advancing in running of radio to make it bigger and better. Mass medium number three is television. The progression of television has come a long way from black and white and uh, color television plasma and LED TVs. The advent of this ever-changing medium started in the late 1930s for entertainment and news purposes initially. Now we have advertisements that have been incorporated into entertainment and news to give viewers a chance to available opportunities and a defined range of products and services. There are also new ways of accessing the internet by using a web TV that is hooked up instead of a PC to browse information and watch or stream videos on large LCD screens. After production of a TV program, a news channel has uh, to make it available to the market for those who are interested in viewing it. The program can be talk show, cook show, serial, movie, and so on. There are two ways this can be done. First, once a program is uh, completed by the producer of either multiple or single episode, he or she then wants a network or station to read to its audience. The network or TV station already pays for the production themselves or licenses the producer to do this and instead before it is viewed to the people. One, the broadcast syndication. This is when secondary runs of the program, which go beyond its original first issue runs, is again broadcasted in the other countries locally and it isn't necessarily managed by the producer. In this case, other TV stations, individuals or companies involve themselves in selling the product to the available market that they are allowed to showcase it, usually under contra contract basis, in some case for the copyright holders or producer. Now I'll take you straight again to media number four. But before we go to media number four, let me just make a recap of uh, uh, the different formats in which uh, the programs are shared in on television. When we said, which is the first run or original run and we said once the program is completed the producer will look for a station where this will be uh, aired for the audience to view then we said number two we have the broadcast syndication which calls for a secondary rebroadcasting of a particular program previously aired by one channel but now displayed on the several other channels this is beyond the in-house producer is now produced by a other pro other television which may have a contract to air this very rebroadcast with another station so media number four is the internet and internet technology has paved the way to revolutionizing all that we thought was either hidden or inaccessible from the different types of media 
the history of internet can be termed to be by far man's greatest innovation story in line of mass media. The internet has made it possible to contact others worldwide, nationally, locally. For example, send an email and be part of a chat room and a conference. Blogging with discussion boards, opinion polls and forums, webcam viewing, global map using, that is using the Google Earth, sending and receiving images and files, downloading from the internet through website, signing up to a social network website, radio stations with live streaming, video streaming and lots more. It has uh, stormed out uh, conventional norms with a very teenager, adult and senior owning their own laptop or PC today. News can also be viewed via satellite uh, with reporters covering events on site and sending it or relaying it via the internet to broadcasting news network. It is an amalgamation of users that is above all user-friendly and high-tech. Using radio waves and frequency, not to mention satellite transmission, we are able to access a whole new domain. When it comes down to getting what we want and need within minutes, the internet serves it better. The internet revolution made it easier for people to get in touch, fuel business, make profits, do shopping, access free information from any internet access enabled device. It is truly a technology that speaks for herself. These types of uh, media are object of fascination and AU. With technology advancement to make it better, faster and easier to handle. As with any medium of communication, it can be put to a good use or be misused. Depending on the type of uh, mass media coverage, a product, news or piece of information can be used or misused according to the internet as well for users. With the advent of faster and quicker means of media communication, the fine line between ethics and non-ethical issues or principles in media have begun to blur. So the next time you hook yourself onto the high-tech gadget or innovation, think about what lies ahead in terms of progression. Man is constantly coming up with ways of mesh technology with a slow rise in the standard of living who knows where it will lead us or what is in store for the future now that we've taken a deeper insight into what media is okay i think it's now our turn to consider ethics and media ethics now to create a fair understanding of our general topic of discussion under this unit. By definition of ethics, ethics or moral philosophy is a branch of philosophy that involves systematizing, defending, and recommending concepts of right and wrong conduct. The field of ethics along with anathistic concern, matters of value, and thus com comprises the branch of philosophy called axiology. Ethics seek to resolve questions of human morality by defining concepts such as good and evil, right and wrong, virtue and vice, justice and crime. As a field of intellectual inquiry, moral philosophy also is related to field of moral philosophy, descriptive ethics and value theory. Definition of media ethics now. Media ethics is a subdivision of applied ethics dealing with specific ethical principles and standards of the media, including broadcast media, film, theater, the art, the print media, and the internet. The field covers many varied and highly controversial topics, ranging from war journalism to buttons and campaign. 
the five core principles of ethical journalism. When we talk about this, we are looking at the core principles of ethical journalism set out below and provide an excellent base for everyone who aspires to launch themselves deeper into the public information sphere to show responsibility in how they use the information. Number one uh, principle is the principle of truth and accuracy. Journalists cannot always guarantee truth, but getting the facts right is a cardinal principle of journalism. We should always strive for accuracy, give all the relevant facts we have, and ensure that they have been checked. When we cannot co corroborate information, we should say so. Principle number two, which is principle of independence, Journalist must be independent voice. Aria Kobat. Journalist must be an independent voice. We should not act formally or informally on behalf of a special interest, whether political, corporate, or cultural. We should declare to our editors or our audience any of our political affiliation, financial arrangement, or other personal information that may constitute what we call conflict of interest. Principle number three is fairness and impartiality. Most stories have at least two sides. While there is no obligation to present every side in every piece, stories should be balanced and add context. Objectivity not always possible and may not always be desirable in the face, for example, of brutality or inhumanity. But Impartial reporting builds trust and confidence to a professional journalist. The other principle, which is principle number four, is the principle of humanity. Journalists should do no harm. We, what we publish or broadcast may not be harmful, but we should be aware of the impact of our words and images on the lives of others. In other words, this principle summarizes it in one assumption. If it is good for me, it is good for others. Would I wish the same to be the same yardstick for measuring my standard? Principle number five, which is accountability. A sure sign of professionalism and responsible journalism is the ability to hold ourselves accountable. When we commit errors, we must correct them, and our expression of regret must be sincere and not cynical. We listen to the concerns of our audience. We may not change what readers write or say, but we will always provide remedies when it is unfair. Ladies and gentlemen, when we're talking about these principles, I want to keep it short and simple. Remember, it is all about truth and accuracy. It's about independence. It's about fairness and impartiality. It's about humanity. And it's about being accountable wherever we stand in our service. Thank you very much for giving time to join me on our training YouTube account where we're looking at a unit called Media Ethics and our focus is how to build professional journalism. Thank you very much. Just in case you've not subscribed, it is higher time you subscribe to our channel. Share the same link to your friends. I know we will be blessed. Catch you in our next episode where we'll be looking at the philosophical foundations of ethics, well, I wish you good.